the absolute joy and honour to have Cornelius share with us. Cornelius uh, is is doing an exceptional work uh, in Nepal with a massive heart for unreached peoples. Uh, and I know that's a heart that um, Ashish, I know that's a heart that Daniel as well, the three of you carry this passion mm-hmm. along with Daniel Carell and others. Mm-hmm. You have, it's almost like you have an ache in your heart for the unreached peoples of Nepal. But um, we're, we're, uh, we represent countries here and in, in, uh, all over the world. And there are so many unreached peoples on our doorstep. And what we'd love is, Cornelius, please share with us God's heart for the unreached peoples and stir that in us. Uh, so put your hands together, folks, and give Cornelius a massive Grow Global welcome. Uh, thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, sorry. Can you see the screen? Perfect. Yes. Very yeah. good. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, once again, I would like to give thanks to our God. So, uh, welcome to Go Global Family. Uh, this is the time that God has given in our life. So, uh, first of all, I would like to give thanks to God. And that he has given this wonderful time in our life and uh, respected Peter, sir, as well as all the Go Global family. Thank you for your praying and uh, thank you for your support that you have uh, done for us. Because of that only, I could come to with you in this time and I can say with, uh, uh, you know, ministry, what God has given in my life in the uh, Nepal. That things I'm going to share with you, and uh, I'm going to share with uh, that uh, uh, all my heart on reaching and on rich people. So this is the uh, God has given uh, me to uh, to do in Nepal. That's why uh, this topic uh, has given Go Global family also that share these things among the Google family. So I'm going to uh, share, uh, before I share my uh, ministry or vision, I'm uh, just uh, four things. Uh, uh, these things, uh, I, 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 uh, I think you know very well, uh, according uh, Mark, according, according uh, Mark's uh, chapter 10, verse 46 to uh, 52, uh, you can see the about the blind man, right? So uh, from that chapter, uh, I want to, uh, you know, uh, uh, I want to read before you. Uh, sorry to say that my English is not uh, good, but you have to try to understand what I'm going to say with you all. So uh, here is written, then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples together with a large crowd were leaving the city, a blind man, a Bartholomew, which means son of the time, uh, Timus was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called to the blind man, cheer up on your feet. He's calling you. Uh, he's calling you, throwing his cloak uh, aside. He jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Uh, Jesus asked him, the blind man, uh, asked him, the blind man, and said, uh, Rabbi, I want to see, go uh, say Jesus, uh, these things uh, just immediately, uh, he received, immediately he received the, his sight and uh, he gone. I actually four things, uh, four things I want to tell you from this passage. Uh, for four things, maybe uh, might be, maybe you might have preached many times from this passage. Maybe you have read many times uh, this passage. Uh, I'm going to say four things. 
uh, from this passage. Uh, number one, first thing is that uh, his blind man need, first thing is the need. Blind man, his need, that his need was just to see. He began shouting Jesus. When we read the verse 47, when he met Jesus, when he saw the Jesus, and his need was just to see, and he began shouting to Jesus, you know, because his need was just to see, because he was blind. Uh, he, he cannot see properly. He cannot see the uh, he, people. He cannot see the world. He cannot see the creation of God. And he was blind, and his need was just to see. And he began shouting to Jesus. He has begun, he was begging. Maybe he did not ask money to Jesus. He did not ask about the eating things. He did not ask about clothes. But one thing that he just asked what his need in his life. You know, my dear friends, maybe he was blind because he could not see the properly. Uh, he need see and he did he need you know people to see uh, how people are how god create uh, create to people how god create to you know this world and he wanted to see the, all the things and he did not demand to anything to god uh, to jesus but he he was uh, he need was just to see and uh, that's way he need you know uh, he did not ask anything to uh, in the worldly things, but uh, he just asked to Jesus, I want to see. And second thing is that, you know, he has a chance. He has a golden chance. He has an opportunity to, you know, many people, many people criticize the blind man, you know, and many people told him to be quiet. But he shouted more and more because he got a chance to meet the Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus Christ, this is the last time that Jesus was passing by the Jericho. Many times before this, many times Jesus passed from this way, from this place, but it was the last time for the Jesus. And this chance that blind man never you know, never, never leave that chance. That's why, you know, he got the chance. And many people criticized the blind man and told him to be quiet. And he shouted more and more. And he's saying that, son of David, please help me and help me. When we read the verse 48, and we can see that he is shouting and he's asking to help. And he's saying that, son of David, Please help me. My dear friends, as he got chance to meet with Jesus, you know, there are many people. There are many people in the different places who, who never meet to Jesus. And they want in their life Jesus because when he met with Jesus and he said that, yes, he is the one who can heal me. He is the one who can touch me. He, he is the one who can, you know, do the miracle in my, in my life. And that chance, he never leave that. And that's why many, you know, when we when we trying to admit to Jesus, when we trying to, you know, uh, uh, you know, admit to Jesus, at that time, many people, you know, criticize the people that, and that time we never and ever to stop to meet the Jesus because he had the chance to meet the Jesus Christ. And third thing is that we can see from his life that he has a choice. He was a choice. And Jesus asked the man, what do you want me to do for you? And, you know, Jesus gave him option to choose what you want me to do for you. You know, when we meet to Jesus, you know, when people came to Jesus and he has a many option, he has a many option like a blind man. And Jesus is saying to him that what you want me to do for you. And he could have asked big things, you know, he could have asked big things from Jesus, like maybe money, house, wealth, good health, everything. But my dear friends, just he asked that what he want in his life. You know, he wanted, he chose good things in his life because he could not see the properly. You know, 
God created to him and God created all the things. God created many people that good things he did. He is never seeing, he is never looking and he's never experienced that things and he selected and good things because god has given option to him that he, jesus is asking and jesus is saying to him that what you want me do for you my dear friends similarly god is asking to everyone in this time God is asking or God has given many options to, uh, to us that what is the good for us. And my dear friends, I want to tell you that we have to choose right things. We have to choose good things and we have to choose uh, correct things, which is, the, which is the good for the Jesus Christ and which is the good for in our life. And my dear friends, I want to tell you that he has a choice. Yeah, he has a choice and he has a selected a good one because he want to see. He want to see. He was blind and he's saying that I want to see. I want to see you. Uh, this, this is the answer of that, that question. I and mean, if you see the four things in the responsibility, Jesus said to go, you are the hill because you believe. Immediately the man was able to see again. You know, when we read the verse 52, we can see there that the, immediately the man was able to see again. He did not go, you know, uh, what we can learn from his life that when he held by Jesus, when he held by Jesus, he did not go at home to see his family. You know, second thing that he did not, did not go to his friends and he did not go anywhere, but he followed to Jesus. That is the responsibility. That is the responsibility. And he knew that this is the, this is the miracle of Jesus that he has done in my life. And he, he did in my life. And, they, uh, and he got that. And he knew that my responsibility is that I have to follow to Jesus. My dear friends, there are many people. There are many people, you know, when when they get uh, when when people get the benefit and they can go anywhere they can go anywhere but this blind man that when he healed and he knew that my responsibility be has to be go with the jesus christ because he healed me he touched me and he did miracles in my life and your responsibility and my responsibility uh, my friends we have to follow to jesus we have to follow to Jesus because God has chosen us. God has selected us, elected us for his kingdom, for his ministry. You know, whenever he did, whenever he does the miracles in life, and we should know that he is the one who can do everything. And we need to follow to Jesus. That's what God created to us. That's what God selected to us to follow to him. My dear friends, responsibility, he knew that my responsibility is I have to follow to Jesus. And what is our responsibility, my dear friends? What is our responsibility? Our responsibility to follow Jesus as blind men follow to Jesus. You know, our responsibility to love God and others. And our responsibility to say the gospel and make the disciples and our responsibility to live a life of holiness and purity and our responsibility to serve others and our responsibility to be good stored all of all the god has given us my dear friends this is the responsibility that god has given to you and me and we have to follow to jesus because there are many 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 people still they don't know about jesus christ you know, they don't know about Jesus Christ. They are not praying. They are not going to church. They, are, they, don't, they don't have Jesus in their life. They are not following to Jesus. But your responsibility and my responsibility to save the gospel, to unrich and unknown people who doesn't know about the Jesus Christ, who don't know about church, who don't know about the gospel, who don't know about the good news of Jesus Christ, and your responsibility and my responsibility have to see that have to say the about the Jesus Christ. That's why my friend, as a blind man, he knew that my responsibility that I will not go at home. I will not go with my friend. 
I will not go anywhere, but I will go with Jesus Christ because he did miracles in my life. My dear friends, as a, as a miracle Jesus did in his blind man, same miracles and different, different miracles might be uh, Jesus has done in our life and my life. But we should know that our responsibility is to follow Jesus, to love God and others to say the gospel and make the disciples. My dear friends, God has given me to say the gospel and make the disciples. And that things I have taken decision. That things I have taken decision to follow to Jesus and make the disciples and say the gospels in the unreached people. You know, as a blind man was sitting over there last many years, last many years, he was sitting in the one side and the one place he did not meet Jesus, but when Jesus was passing in that way, and he knew that Jesus is going from here, and he said that, I don't want to miss this chance. I want to meet to Jesus. I want to pray to Jesus, and, and I want to say my burden to Jesus. And when Jesus heard about his burden, about his problem, my dear friends, his, all the problems has gone in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have a have. Maybe there are many problems, many, many, many. There are many challenges in your life. When you and me, when we meet the Jesus, you know, all the problems goes, all the problems go in the name of Jesus Christ. When he healed and when he healed and he thought that and he said that my responsibility, my responsibility is that I will follow to Jesus. I will follow to Jesus. My dear friends, God has given me a vision and the responsibility to go, you know, rich and unrich people in Nepal with the good news of Jesus Christ. And this is the, this is the, you know, this is the challenge and this is the vision that God has given in my life. And I have taken and I have taken till in the end of the, my breath, I will say the gospel. I will spread the goodness of Jesus Christ and I will reach in the unreached people in the different places of Nepal. This is the decision that I have taken and I will do and I will go for the Lord, for the, his kingdom, for the, his glory. And many people of Nepal are shouting and crying for Jesus as a blind man was shouting for Jesus. My dear friends, as blind man, man was sitting, he did not meet Jesus before, you know, same like that in the Nepal, in the different places, in the, all the nations, people are waiting for Jesus. People are waiting for Jesus. And the people are want to meet to Jesus also. They want to hear about Jesus name. You know, they want to, they want to follow to Jesus, my dear friends. People, many people of Nepal are shouting and crying. You know, many people are dying without Jesus. You know, many people are dying without salvation. Many people are dying without Jesus name, you know. Your responsibility and my responsibility has to be go with them. Has to be go in that place. Has to be rich in that place. Where is you no know, Jesus name? Where is no any churches? Where is no any gospels? Where is no any goodness? And your responsibility and my responsibility have to be rich in that place. My dear friends, there are many uh, Nepali people, traditions are there. Many, many people, traditions are there, different languages they are there, different, you know, culture are there. You can see Hinduism are dancing, they are happy in the worldly things, but they are not in the Jesus Christ. You know, this, this is the, all the people are from the Nepal, and they are different from the Nepal, different places of Nepal, and many languages, many, uh, you know, cultural, many traditions, are in the Nepal and they don't know about Jesus Christ. And in their life, we want to, we want to bring Jesus name in their life that they may go, that they may know about Jesus Christ. Many poor people are there and without food they are dying, without Jesus they are dying. They don't know about Jesus Christ and God has given responsibility to reach them, you know, share the gospel among the them, you know, Mother Teresa said that 
I can do the I can do things you cannot. You can you can do things I cannot. Together we can do great things, my dear friends. Yes, this is the this is the work that God has given to us. If I say that I can do everything, no, I cannot do. If you say that I can do everything, no, you cannot. But 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 together we can do great things. Together we can bring. God's kingdom in the nations. Together we can save the gospel in the unreached people. Together we can save the, you know, we can bring the good news in the different places in the nation, in the different districts, in the states, in the nation. That is the, that is the, that is the vision and that is the responsibility God has given to everyone. And I have uh, last, uh, uh, as you know, that I have planted seven churches in different parts of Nepal. Uh, when I started ministry in Nepal in 2018, before that I was in in the North India. I was doing ministry there. I have I have done ministry seven years there, and I was running Bible school, and I raised many girls and boys in 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 uh, in the North India of uh, North uh, no, in the North India, and. Many youngs and girls graduated in from that, uh, you know, Bible college. Now more than 50 pastors and leaders are working in the north, in the north India, in different parts of the India. That is the that is the vision. You know, this is my first church when I started when I started ministry in Nepal, and this is the first church in 2018 I started for, in Nepal, and this is the first church. And this is the second church I started in the Chiton by the grace of God. And this is the third church. Brother Asis, you can see that this is the third church he started in the Surkhed district. And this is the fourth church in the same place, but uh, uh, same state, but a uh, uh, different district. And this, is the, and this is the fifth church that I started in the different, uh, different uh, place. And that uh, this is the yeah, these are the seven churches, you know, uh, by, by the grace of God, you know, God is using me because God has given me, uh, uh, you know, God has given me that, uh, you know, uh, church planting ministry in our Nepal. And really, really, God is using me and really I'm so happy uh, in his presence. I'm so happy in his life, uh, in, in his work. I would like to request you all that, Please do pray for the Nepal. There are many places where the gospels has not been rich. And my burden is to take the gospel to unrich people with the good news of Jesus Christ and establish the churches. My dear friends, God has given that burden, that vision to churches, you know, church plant, many, many in the different parts of the Nepal. This is the this is the this is the responsibility God has given me in my life, my dear friends. I, I maybe maybe I don't know you 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 might be you 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 could properly understand or not, but uh, you know what God has given me, what God has showing me in Nepal, and that's things that I have shared with you, my dear friends. So thank you so much. This is the what I want to say with you all. Maybe. Uh, uh pray for nepal that god god need you know god need uh, uh god need many people uh, uh god need many people that uh you know many leaders i want to raise and many many places i want to raise and many many uh in the in the different parts of the nepal i want to go there because many people are waiting for the jesus many people are waiting for the gospels Many people are waiting for the good news and many people are waiting for the get the salvation from the Jesus Christ and your responsibility and my responsibility. They, know, they have to, they have to be rich with the good news of Jesus Christ that they may know about Jesus Christ and that they may know and that they may give their life to Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again to all of you and uh, thank you so much once again to uh, peter sir that you have given me this wonderful time to me to say about the nepal ministry about the, my vision about the what god has what god has actually uh, doing in the nepal ministry this is the not enough for me 
I have to go in the ahead. I have to go in the future. I have to plant many churches and I have to go in the unrich people who is still did know about, uh, didn't know about Jesus Christ. That is the, my vision. Not only me, there are Pastor Daniel Bhatt and Pastor Daniel As uh, Pastor Daniel Kurel and Daniel Asis. As a team, as a team, we want to go forward. As a team, we want to. And I, as I said, you cannot do. I can, you cannot do things. I cannot. I cannot do. You cannot. But together, we can bring the kingdom of God in the Nepal. That is my vision. Thank you so much once again. God bless you all.